Um, listen, we have company. Chris yeah. Bade is here. Mornings on Virgin Radio Dubai. Chris, good to see you, brother. Welcome. Good morning. Good to Thanks, see you guys. again. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much, Ryan. So we met the other day, and I couldn't get him out of my mind because because <laughs> uh, he literally. So t- what? Tell we're broadcasting out of Los Angeles and across the country. Tell everyone what you do every morning. So I do a, a morning show in Dubai, UAE. Listen to that. Listen oh, to I that. love it. I listen to you yeah. all day. Hey, thank you. Uh, United Arab Emirates. So I'm Australian originally, Lebanese Australian. Oh, what a combination. Grew up in Australia. That. Did radio in Oz. Yeah. Talking about toxic. Uh, environments. I had a boss tell me I will never put. I was doing. I was the promo guy driving the cars around yeah. the, the city, giving away like sodas and chips, right? Yeah. And uh, I had him. I had him tell me I will never give you an on-air gig. So I'm just letting you know right now. That's what he told me straight wow. out. Wow, what a jerk! And when I went home, like like you would have gone home with yeah. him, and I was just like, damn, this guy killed me. But it fueled me up. Of course. And uh, three weeks later, he got fired. <laughs> yeah, that, Why am I happy that's about the that? Karma. <laughs> no, and the guy and the new guy that came in saw something in me and said, "You know what? I'm putting you on uh, overnights and put me on overnights straight and away." That's how you started. And that's how I started. So yeah. then I moved to Dubai after about five years in Oz doing radio. And I've been there for eleven years. I broadcast across the Middle East. So I do like Lebanon, Jordan, Oman, oh, wow. uh, UAE, and then I've got a syndicated show across in Australia. And do you start at what time in the morning? Uh, we're on air from 6 a.m., but I'm, I'm in earlier than that, about 5 a.m. Yeah, in the morning. And and so there's a morning rush hour? Is that yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So our morning rush hour starts around 4, 6 a.m., but yeah. it lasts longer. So about 10.30 a.m. we get off usually. Wow. wow. Yeah. Well, don't start talking about that around here. 10.30. <laughs> <laughs> we don't go we, one we, minute we, we over 10. We half hour. <laughs> uh, no, let's come back. There's, I, there's some really interesting things I've heard about Dubai, where you're based, that yep. I just I want to ask you about because I'm curious, and I've never been, and I'm – Desperate to visit. You're a big deal in Dubai. You've got to come out. Ooh. Honestly. Ooh. Honestly. Oh. How so? So because <laughs> I'm only say, five nine. Okay, no, you so your show, this show is yeah. heard across that the world. That I know right? on Virgin on the same station you're on, right? Virgin Radio Dubai yeah. has it. So we did something in the radio bizzo called Perceptuals where we we try to find out who knows all the presenters on the radio station. Ooh. Oh yeah. And you came in second, man. Oh, to, I came in second to Chris. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But it, you, and your slot is like it's a, it's a day slot, right? Yeah. And yeah. Uh, to see it was the first time that we ever wanted to test Ryan's secrets. We was like, let's throw him into the Middle East. Let's see where where he is. Everyone knew you. Like you were scoring so my high. My people. My people. Oh, wow. and, oh. and my what what the best thing about it? My management. They always get requests. They're always like, hey, uh, so we want Ryan to come out to the mall and uh, <laughs> could, he, could he open up a store? <laughs> and we're like, yeah, no, Ryan's busy right now. <laughs> I don't put it past me. If I'm in town, I'll open up a mall any day. We want you there. Yeah. All right. Chris Fade is here. He does mornings on Virgin Radio Dubai. So he essentially is doing what, what we do. And you have some other co-hosts, right? i got Pretty Malik, who's from New York originally, uh, Indian background. And then I've got Big Rossi, who's from Liverpool, England. Wow. So we've got the three of us on air every single morning. That's exciting. All right. So some things that we heard, and you're broadcasting out of Dubai to yep. different regions in the area. Um, we heard that swearing in public, mm-hmm. is this in the UAE? Is it legal? Like it's finable? It's finable. Finable. It can be. It can be. So if you drop the F-bomb yep. and uh, the police hear you, they yep. can give you a ticket? Wow. Yep. Yeah, you can get a ticket. They, they, depending on who, you know. And is, you this, know. is this religiously rooted or just perceptually rooted that they want the area to be so pristine? It's, you know what? I've been there for 11 years. Initially when I went there, I was like, oh my gosh, you can't do this. You can't do that. 11 years in, I've got two kids. I'm like, I love this place. And no tickets? Uh, no tickets. <laughs> no tickets. <laughs> Dutch, He's grinning. Dutch wood, I'm making sure. Um, <laughs> yeah, like it's it's sort of like a rule that they just want to say, you know what? This is our city. We want it to be really clean and safe. And so when right. you come in, now listen, it does happen. Don't get me wrong. Like we got some of the biggest nightclubs in the world. Like, right. They're crazy. They're amazing. The best beaches in the world. Like it puts... It puts some of the cities here to shame when you go there, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but and it does happen. But if you were to do it to the wrong person or in the wrong situation, they can get you. Hundred percent. What about this? Um, gossiping or spreading rumors is a finable issue too. Is Ag- that true? Again, to a certain. point. What about on the radio? How do you yeah. handle that on, on the radio? Radio is fine. Like as in, yeah. but we won't sledge. We won't defame someone that lives in the country if it's not a hundred percent true. We can't just get on and be like. But you, you can. Can you say, hey, I heard that Ed Sheeran. And Justin Bieber are doing a song together, but I don't know for sure. 100%. So oh, okay. that's fine. So yeah. that's okay. the, what, what, that, what we don't like doing is like, let's say something happens at a club and then it's brought up on social media. Oh. They film the guy without his permission. It goes on social then media without, without that guy's it. permission. Then you can get in trouble. Is there paparazzi in Dubai? 
Not really. Because you're oh. not allowed to take photos like that? Yeah, and that is, we get so many of like the A-listers come out and just hang out there because they, they love know it no they, will get no, they will not get bothered. That's awesome. Yeah, taking photos without people's permission, that's yeah. an issue, right? 100%. Can you How imagine if it was like that here in America? But you know what? I was I was in LA just filming something the other day, uh-huh. and and this girl I wasn't even getting her. I wasn't even getting her in my shot. She's like, I don't want to be on the camera. I'm like, well, that's because everyone thinks that they're famous. Okay, <laughs> All right. that's so true. Wait, what about poppy seeds? I heard that those are illegal in Dubai. On a bagel. You like, watching? Your sign. That's a Seinfeld episode. I don't know if you know. Uh, Elaine did that. She, uh, she brought poppy seeds in into the states so or something. Is it I, real? I don't. I don't know that one. I don't know. I, I can't. You I can't. Don't know. Where'd you hear that, sis? I read it somewhere. There's a famous Seinfeld episode where Elaine eats a poppy seed muffin, then travels to a country and then gets thrown into jail. <laughs> <laughs> she, she's high on the poppy seed muffin. <laughs> hey, so Chris Fade, he does mornings on Virgin Radio. We're on in the midday, right? Midday, like one yeah. to three ish or yes, something like that. Yes. Um and number he, number one in the in the UAE, ooh, by the way. We'll take it. Secrets number that. one. <laughs> nice. And he just got engaged. So congratulations. Oh, His fiance that. is here. She's taking pictures of us without permission right now. <laughs> <laughs> Put it down. Put it down. It's findable. Uh and, and Will Smith helped out. Tell Sissini and Tanya what he did. So the big Aladdin preview was going on in uh, in Jordan is where they filmed it, right? Uh-huh. So I had uh, the guys from Disney contact me like, yo, do you want to fly out and do a couple of interviews with the cast of Aladdin? Will's going to be there. I said 100%. Now, they said at this stage, like, Will's all down for everything, but at the same time, he's Will Smith. He'll do a limited amount of interviews. Do you want to do anything special? I've interviewed Will a couple of times and the kids, so I was planning, and this is, this is no word of a lie, we've got a, a mutual friend, Dennis Ryan. Yes, we do. And yes. I do. wanted to possibly propose... Uh, with you around, to tell you the with truth. With me there. I wanted, I wanted you around. I wanted to, I'm wanted. i a radio guy. I thought, let's do it on the radio. I can't do it on my own radio show. I thought oh, wow. we had done that before. Right, right, right. right. And um, Dennis said, let me work on it. And within about three days of that, Will's team, I sent it to Will with the same idea. And Will's team came back and said, hey, we're down for it. Let's do it. Let, let, let's, let's help out. We would love to be part of it. Will wants to have a say, though, how you do this. Amazing. So at that point, I thought, I thought to myself, you know, we're going to be in Jordan. I really wanted to surprise Brianna, my fiance. So we flew out to Jordan. Uh, there was about 26 people involved. She had no idea. Wow. I, had this, I had this ring so in my cool. pocket. I did interviews with the cast of, of Aladdin, and then the, finally it was it was Will Smith. Him and I did a quick little interview this whole time. Brianna, my fiance, is on the roof in this beautiful place in Jordan. With like It's called Citadel. It's like this ancient sort of city behind us. Oh. Yeah. I tell B, my girl, I'm like, yo, I got you a private one-on-one photo with Will Smith, so he's going to come up and take a photo with you. And she's like, oh, my gosh, that's so nice. What should I wear? <laughs> And so, like, a couple of days prior, I'm making sure, girl, like, I'm making sure that she's getting her nails done. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, right. Right. Important. yeah, yeah. So she's, and then, like, she's up now on the roof. Will and I do this interview, and I say to Will, and he, I'm like, man, I'm not listening to a word you're saying, man. Like, and he goes, Chris, I totally I understand it. what's going on. So he came up with the idea, which was super cool. He, uh, he said, let, let me pretend to take the selfie with Brianna. All right, I'm going to lift the phone up, and as I'm lifting, I'll take one photo. On the second photo, you go behind and get on your knee. She'll see the reflection in the selfie so of you on good. the knee. It's so good. Ah, and, it's so good. And it worked. It worked, Aww. and I have never been so nervous in my life. That's I think amazing. Will was nervous. And the reaction from my yeah. beautiful Priceless. fiance. Priceless. It was uh, it was pretty real. I uh, See, you hear stories like that and you think, gosh, how will I ever live up to this? You know, so and that's beautiful. a brilliant way to do it. Um, we're going to take a break. W- one more minute with you in a second because I have a caller from Dubai. That's uh, here's your, your voice is being broadcast and they're hearing you now. Wow. I don't know how it works, but it's happening. Hang on. It's Kiss FM. Hey, Chris Fade is with us this morning. It's so fun to talk to somebody that does what we do in a different part of the world. Mm-hmm. Every morning in Dubai, he originates his show from there on Virgin Radio. And this is Talene. Talene, are you in Dubai? Yes, I am. Wow. Hello. <laughs> what do you see? <laughs> what, what do you see outside right now? I picture the building that Tom Cruise was scaling or falling out of. Actually, I live in the marina, so I see the, oh, uh, the boats and the water coming back and forth. Oh, it sounds beautiful. Mm-hmm. So do you know yeah, Chris? We've just... I do know Chris. I listen to him every morning on the way to work. He's uh, he's really nice. He's extremely funny. And uh, and uh, congratulations. I saw that he recently got engaged. You're amazing. Thank you. I've so, got to come there. I've please. got to come. Yeah. We've got to figure out a way to do a can, trip and a broadcast. Yeah, can we all go? 
Yeah, of course. Okay. They have you a great can, you airline. Can I, they, to my house. I have a really big balcony. <laughs> they have a, oh, we would nice. love to do you. And you're right on the marina, and they have a great airline service, yeah. right, to Dubai. Sounds yeah. good. Let's let's make it happen. I would like to do that. We should talk off there because I've been wanting to do this for a long time, and we should coordinate it and maybe do a show out of there, right? Wouldn't that be great? Fantastic. Uh, yeah. Yes. Like- <laughs> the answer is yes, thousand percent. Tanya, Tanya, swallow, breathe, blink, something. <laughs> this is like one of the places that's like on the bucket list. Oh, like, for this sure. Is- what would we do? What, what so if we were to be there for a couple of days? What do you think we should okay, do? Okay, so we'll take you to the desert, obviously, and go do like oh, desert yeah. tuning. Oh, it's yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. We should do that, right? Yeah, and do if you don't come in the summer, you can do skydive. Uh, I'll pass on that, but I'll go to the restaurant. You can see the whole palm. We will take you up the tallest tower in the world, Burj Khalifa, where they've got the tallest restaurant at the top and the atmosphere, the highest bar in the world. It is unbelievable. And food, mm. everything's there, right? Oh, some of the best food. We've got all like the the Michelin star restaurants. We've got like just all like oh, what with you the Virgin see. account credit card. I well, love yeah, it. Uh, yeah, yeah we'll, we'll sort it out. We'll hook it up. <laughs> yeah. We'll talk to Dubai tourism. Honestly, we should do this. I'm, I'm being real. I'd love to do this. Well, one of the things I wanted to have you back for was to off air. We should we're going to talk and exchange information because I'd like for our teams to try and think about this. To Jenna our producer, our international global producers there in the other room right now trying to figure out how do we make this happen? Jen, I like it. Could be great. Right? She's We're not, learning. She's not she's in her head. Okay. Um, all right, Chris, great to see you. I know you've got life to live and you're here uh, just sort of enjoying yourself. So uh, good luck. Congratulations. Thanks for coming by. Miss Tati, let's hit the horoscope. see you. 